Hi, this is Jasper with Kixi, and I'm going to be showing you how to use the Kixi Power Dialer. The Kixi Power Dialer can be purchased in three different configurations, single line, four line, and ten line. The number of lines you dial at a time is configurable in the Power List setup, which we cover in a separate video. I'll be demonstrating the single line power dialer, but the procedure for multi-line dialing is essentially the same. To start power dialing, open your Kixi Dialer, and then click the button in the bottom right corner to open the power dialer window. Select the power lists you would like to call by checking the boxes next to the lists. You can select multiple lists or just call from one. If you are calling from multiple lists, you will round robin between them automatically. Next, click start dialing to start your power dialing session. Your first call will start automatically. At the top of the window, you can see how many contacts are queued up to be called how many contacts are scheduled to be redialed but have not yet met the minimum duration of time before they can be called again, how many dials have been made, how many calls have been answered, how many calls have counted as connections based on the definition set in your account settings, and your total talk time for the session. The reserved contacts list shows you the contacts you are currently calling or those you are about to call. To end the call, click the red hang up button on the dialer. After you hang up, you will automatically be taken to the outcome window. If you would like to redial the same number again, click redial target at the bottom of the window. At the top of the outcome screen, we have the next call refresher window. The notes you enter here will not be synced with your CRM, but they will be shared with other members of the power list if they call the same contact. Next, we have the outcome box where you can enter notes that will be synced with your CRM. Below it, we have the next appointment field, which allows you to set a date and time for the next power dialed call to go out to the contact. This will not sync with your CRM, and the call will only go out if you're power dialing from the same list at the scheduled time. If you leave this field blank, the next call to the contact will be placed according to the power list rules. If you'd like to send a templated text message as a follow-up, select the template you would like to send before you hit save and dial next. The final field is the Outcome Disposition field, or if you're connected to HubSpot CRM, you'll have two fields, Call Type and Outcome Disposition. These fields will sync with your CRM when you hit Save and Dial Next. Depending on your PowerList settings, you may be required to select an outcome after every call. When you are finished filling out all of the fields you'd like to fill out, click Save and Dial Next. When power dialing, the edit, contact, and voicemail drop options will still be in the same place as they are on a regular call. If you need a break, you can click pause session. To stop power dialing, click end session. And that's everything you need to know to start using the Kixi Power Dialer. Thanks for watching.